Well, we heard spring is on the way, and we do know it's coming eventually, of course. And with the change of seasons, means a change in the kind of fresh fruit and vegetables that you're going to find available today and beyond. We're going to focus on popular produce for spring. We're talking beets, asparagus, and pineapple. And high V dietitian Melissa, Melissa Yeager is here to talk about them. I love beets. Yes. I love pineapple. I'm confused why that's seasonal, so I want to talk about that. <laughs> and I'm not a huge fan of asparagus. I know people love it. Okay. But I, I know it's so good for you, and it is so fresh this time of year, right? It is. It's something that I look forward to coming out in the spring. It just has the best flavor, the best texture, I find. Asparagus is great because it does contain vitamin A, which helps to support healthy vision. It also does contain a lot of fiber, which we know the typical American diet doesn't include enough fiber, and fiber plays such a critical role in cholesterol management, our digestion, just helping us to feel full overall and weight management. And it's really versatile. You can quickly blanch it, you can put it on your pizzas, you can grill up asparagus, so there's lots of different ways to use it. Let's yes. do a risotto. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and I know how good beets are for you. Yes. I mean, they're phenomenal for you, for heart, a lot of heart, cardiovascular health. Exactly. Exactly. Well. I love to just remind individuals that deep red hue that beets have just contains so many antioxidants, which really does to protect against heart disease. And it also naturally contains nitrates, which are a compound that actually help to lower blood pressure. So I if you're somebody who's trying to manage your blood pressure, beets could be a great way to incorporate that into your diet. That is such a true statement. And I think people are afraid of beets, but if they just roast them, they're yes. unbelievable. They get so sweet, the bitterness goes away completely. And finally, pineapple, which I love. So it's obviously not seasonal here, but it is seasonal other places. So and this is peak this is season, yeah, is March right to now? July. Oh, so okay. it's one of those where, yeah, you might be able to get it year round, say at your local grocer or at your Hy-Vee, but you're not gonna necessarily get the best flavor, um, best price point, things like that are really coming into season. So that's why I love buying seasonal produce because then you can save a few dollars, get all that good flavor. But pineapples contain a lot of different vitamins and minerals Minerals, one of that being vitamin C, obviously, which we know supports a healthy immune system. It can also help aid in wound healing. It mm. also contains manganese, which actually really helps our body to metabolize the foods that we're eating. So it can really help our body to process that energy. It also plays a role in bone health. So lots of reasons to pick up pineapple. No kidding. All right, so we're gonna make a little a little drink, huh? Right? Yeah, okay. I thought it would be fun to do a slushy, right? We're trying to think summer in the spring. I'm trying to get yes. us to that next season. So. Next week, next week, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna add in a cup of ice and again you can mix up depending upon if you wanted things to be a little bit sweeter a little bit savory but we're using a cup and a half of diced pineapple and then just a little um, like half inch cube of ginger that we're adding in so we're so gonna, ginger on here yes already. ginger okay. and pineapple are in there okay and then I'm adding in just a cup of an unsweetened unflavored coconut water so again bringing in a little bit of that tropical flair unsweetened unflavored coconut water yeah okay. there's lots of different kind of unique varieties of coconut water out there on store shelves so I just try and find that unflavored because I don't want to add unnecessary added sugars if we don't have to. Okay, and that's a good hydrating uh, thing as yes, well. Yes, exactly. And then this is just an unsweetened pineapple juice, a half cup. Unsweetened, okay. And then you're going to add in some turmeric, which is great anti-inflammatory properties. So good for you. And then some honey. So about a tablespoon, of course, again, depending upon who you're making it for, you can always alter that sweetness or that spice level. Okay. Once you blend that up, it turns into this really kind of beautiful, almost mocktail. Um, you could certainly also just drink it to hydrate. So it's you guys really good? nice to be you able to enjoy. You guys good over here? Oh, Cheers. It's gone, yeah. it's gone already? <laughs> it's gone. Killed his. Yep, this is absolutely yeah, delicious. It is like a mocktail. It oh, is kind of I like a taste, nice mocktail. I can taste the ginger. I can, yes, and it the just warms so it a little bit. You. It's not spicy. It just brings that nice little kind of heat on the undertone, but you get all that sweetness from the pineapple juice. Save and a little extra for the nighttime, be, put a little I rum saying, in there. I, I was, I was <laughs> right, going to say vodka, vodka at 5 o'clock. Yeah. We're both on the Pina same colada. page there. There it's you beautiful. go. <laughs> it's really good. Yep, and it's somewhere 5 o'clock somewhere. All right, well, thank you so much. Such good information. Thank you. Three that Spicy. you should try to add to your cart. We have a link to hy Turmeric. and today's slushy recipe on care11.com. Just text the word recipes, plural, to 763-797-7215, and we'll send you all the recipes we do on this darn show. It's a lot of fun. We'll be right back.